What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into two of the most iconic Linux distributions out there, Ubuntu 24.04 and Debian 13. If you've ever wondered which one is a better daily driver, stick around because we're breaking it all down. From history to installation, desktop experience, software support, performance, and ultimately, which one you should use in 2026? All right, before we jump into the battle of Debian versus Ubuntu, let's rewind the clock a bit, because understanding where these two distros come from explains why they're so different today. First up, Debian. Debian is basically one of the OGs of the Linux world, released way back in 1993. Yeah, older than Google, older than smartphones, older than most social media platforms. It built its reputation on being stable, open, and ridiculously reliable. And because of that, a ton of other Linux distros are built on top of Debian, including the star of today's comparison, Ubuntu. Now, Ubuntu entered the scene in 2004, created by Canonical, and it had one mission, make Linux easier for normal people. Ubuntu takes Debian's rock-solid foundation, adds newer software, smoother installers, great hardware support, and a polished desktop. And boom, suddenly Linux was actually friendly for beginners. Quick fun fact. Ubuntu gets most of its software from Debian's testing branch. Then it cleans it up, polishes it, and ships it. It's kind of like Debian is the chef, and Ubuntu is the restaurant that plates the food and serves it with style. Now, let's talk release models. Because this is where Debian and Ubuntu take completely different approaches. Starting with Debian. Debian 13, also known as Trixie, follows what's called a release-when-ready model. There's no rush, no strict deadlines. The developers release a new stable version only when it's fully tested and rock solid. And behind the scenes, Debian actually works like a rolling system with three branches. Unstable, SID, where all new packages land first, the Wild West. Testing, currently forky, the future Debian release updated frequently. Stable, Trixie, the polished, reliable version meant for actual daily use. Stable releases come out roughly every two years, and they get three years of official security support, plus two extra years of community-provided LTS. That's a total of five years, just like Ubuntu LTS, but achieved in a very different way. The trade-off? Debian Stable moves very slowly, you won't see the latest kernels or newest desktop features unless you manually mix in backports or switch branches. Now compare that to Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. Ubuntu follows a time-based release model, meaning canonical ships updates on a predictable schedule. A new Ubuntu version every six months. A new LTS every two years. And each LTS gets five years of updates no extra tweaking required. This is perfect for beginners and desktop users because you always know when upgrades are coming, and the software is generally much newer out of the box. Quick summary. Debian gives you ultimate stability through slow, carefully tested releases. Ubuntu gives you predictability and freshness through regular scheduled updates. All right, next up, the installation process. And trust me, this is where your first impression of each distro hits you hard. Because the difference between Ubuntu and Debian? It shows right from the moment you try to install them. Ubuntu 24.04 uses the modern Ubuntu installer. And honestly, it feels more like a setup wizard from a mainstream operating system <laughs> than a Linux distro. Everything is graphical, clean, and beautifully laid out. It guides you step-by-step step through. Choosing your language. 
Connecting Wi-Fi. Selecting installation type. Partitioning your drive. Creating your user account and installing third-party drivers for NVIDIA and Wi-Fi. And here's the magic. Ubuntu automatically detects your hardware, your GPU, your network cards, even quirky laptop components. And it offers to install the right proprietary drivers right during installation. And if you're dual booting with Windows, Ubuntu basically says, hey, want to install alongside Windows? I'll handle the partitioning. Click, click, done. For beginners, it's a stress-free experience. No guesswork, no cryptic prompts, no surprises. Even downloading Ubuntu is extremely straightforward. You go to ubuntu.com, pick your version, click the big green button, and boom, you've got the ISO. No hunting through mirrors, no guessing which file you need. Super clean, super simple. Now, let's talk about Debian 13. And look, the installer works great. It's reliable, stable, and battle-tested. But it's definitely more traditional. And before you even get to the installer, Debian already throws its first curveball. Go to debian.org, click Download, and what do you get? The Net Installer, a tiny ISO with no live desktop, meaning you can't test GNOME, KDE, or XFCE before installing. Great for servers, not so great for beginners. If you want the live version, you have to dig through debian.org, where the links to download mirrors and images can feel, well, like a scavenger hunt. Once you finally start the Debian installer, you'll notice it asks way more questions than Ubuntu. Nothing crazy, but definitely more technical things like setting up a root password. Ubuntu doesn't even use a root login by default. Domain and proxy settings. A more manual partitioning layout. Network mirror configuration. Desktop environment selection. Whether to install only the substructure or the full desktop with all software. And if you choose the wrong options, you can easily end up with a headless system, meaning no desktop at all, just a black terminal. Pro tip for beginners, always choose graphical install, say yes to the network mirror, and make sure you select both, Debian desktop environment and your preferred desktop, GNOME, KDE, XFCE, and so on. Otherwise, you might boot into a system with no browser, no sound utilities, no network manager, basically nothing. Who wins for beginners? Ubuntu, by a mile. Ubuntu basically brings you in, gives you a guided tour, sets everything up perfectly, and hands you a polished desktop. Debian hands you a toolbox and says, all right, your turn. Great if you love control, not so great if you're brand new to Linux. All right, let's talk about what it actually feels like to use these systems every day. The desktop experience. Ubuntu 24.04 ships with GNOME, but not just any GNOME. Canonical tweaks it so it feels super smooth. You get polished animations, a clean modern theme, and everything is laid out in a way that feels beginner-friendly. And if GNOME isn't your vibe, Ubuntu also gives you official flavors like KDE Plasma, XFCE, MATE, Budgie, Unity. The list goes on. So even though Ubuntu has a default style, you still have options. Debian 13, on the other hand, is like walking into a buffet. Like you saw earlier, you choose exactly what desktop environment you want right during installation. GNOME, KDE, XFCE, LXDE, Mate, Cinnamon, everything is available. That flexibility is awesome if you want full control. 
But keep in mind, Debian's desktops are more vanilla, meaning you get the pure upstream experience without the extra polished Ubuntu layers on top. If you're someone who loves customizing every detail from day one, Debian has the edge, but if you want a desktop that looks refined and ready to go right out of the box, Ubuntu is definitely your friend. All right, now let's talk about something super important, software management. This is where a lot of people decide between Ubuntu and Debian. So first off, both Debian and Ubuntu use apt and .deb packages. That means the base experience, installing apps, updating your system, feels almost identical. If you've used one, you'll feel right at home on the other. But here's where things split. Ubuntu comes with Snap support enabled by default. So some apps, especially things like Spotify, Discord, and some system utilities, might install as Snaps. The benefit? Snaps update automatically, they're sandboxed, and they're super easy for developers to maintain. The downside, they can be a bit slower to launch. And yes, if snaps aren't your vibe, you can remove them completely. Another advantage for Ubuntu is newer software versions. Because Ubuntu releases more frequently, apps and drivers tend to be fresher right out of the box. Debian, on the other hand, takes a more traditional approach. No snaps, no extra packaging layers, just pure, reliable deb packages with stability at the core. That means your system stays lean and consistent. But the trade-off is that some applications may be older versions unless you enable backports or use Flatpak. Quick tip. If you want the latest apps without messing around, Ubuntu definitely has the edge. But if you prefer a clean system with zero extras, Debian is the way to go. And of course, Flatpak works great on both. All right, let's talk performance. Because nobody wants a sluggish system. In everyday use, both Ubuntu 24.04 and Debian 13 perform really well. Opening apps, browsing the web, watching videos, honestly, the difference is pretty small. They're both stable, efficient, and great for daily computing. But here's where things start to shift. If you're running lower end or older hardware, Debian can pull ahead especially when paired with lightweight desktops like XFCE, LXDE, or even MATE. Debian doesn't load as many background services, so the system feels snappier and more responsive right out of the box. Ubuntu, meanwhile, is optimized and polished, but it does come with more features, integrations, and background processes. That means it's not quite as lightweight as Debian at its leanest. So if you want raw speed on old hardware, Debian wins with its lighter desktop options. But for most modern systems, both will feel great and you probably won't notice much difference. All right, let's talk about something super important, stability and long-term support. Debian, man, Debian is legendary in this department. This is the distro you'll find running on servers, scientific labs, business backends, Anywhere reliability is absolutely critical. Updates are super conservative, upgrades rarely break, and everything is tested to perfection before it lands. If you want rock solid, set it and forget its stability, Debian is the gold standard. Ubuntu LTS versions, like 24.04, also deliver excellent stability, but with a more modern touch. You get five years of guaranteed updates, plus the option for extended support if you ever need it. Security patches, bug fixes, performance tweaks, all come regularly and all come without drama. It's stable and up-to-date enough for a great daily desktop experience.
Debian gets the edge for pure, unshakable stability. Ubuntu wins if you want a sweet balance. Stability plus newer software and a smoother desktop workflow. So the big question, which one is the better daily driver in 2025? Let's break it down. Choose Ubuntu 24.04 if you want the easiest and most beginner-friendly installer. You prefer a polished modern desktop with smooth animations and curated defaults. You want newer software, better hardware support, and five years of guaranteed updates. Choose Debian 13 if you want maximum stability, the it-just-works-for-years type of system. You like having full control over every part of your OS. You're comfortable with a more classic, no-nonsense Linux setup. Honestly, you can't go wrong with either. Both are fantastic. But for most people coming from Windows or Mac OS, Ubuntu 24.04 is simply the more welcoming daily driver. It's friendly, polished, and gets out of your way so you can just use your computer. All right, folks, that wraps up our Ubuntu versus Debian showdown. If this video helped you out, make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss our next Linux deep dive. And hey, drop a comment below. Which distro are you using daily and why? I love reading your setups. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.